Years ago, the owner of the cemetery told us he doesn't have money to maintain the property, so most of it looks like this. But there is one area that was adopted by a local church. It's bringing new hope to people who have loved ones buried here. It's supposed to be somewhere in here. Nadine Wilson visits her son's grave every year on his birthday. This year, she had trouble finding it among overgrown plants and piles of trash. I think this is the worst I have seen it. Most of the cemetery looks about the same and has for years. This is an ongoing issue. Peggy Malcolm is the chair of the Rhode Island Advisory Commission on Historical Cemeteries. She says groups are limited in what they can do to help fix up privately owned cemeteries. But in this case, some work is being done. The owner um, has now agreed to let people go in and we have a group from an Armenian church that's helping. Steve Almasian is part of that group. He says the cleanup has been a labor of love. It was um, almost um, an insurmountable task. We started in the back and pulled out the big items, the branches, trees that had fallen, and then we started uh, bagging um, leaves. A thousand bags of leaves and at least a thousand volunteer hours resulted in this. We brought honor and dignity to this resting place. But they can't tackle a bigger space, so they're hoping more volunteer groups will follow their lead and adopt other sections of the cemetery. What is the future of Oakland Cemetery? I would like to think that it will be well kept. The owners will allow folks to go in and, and help as he's doing now, and we thank him for that. So I, I would see that continuing. So there's hope? Always. Nadine is hopeful too. We weren't able to get in touch with the owner of the cemetery to comment for this report. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Cultural Fraction Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.